I want you to kill Matt Clark. Can you do that? Matt Clark? Yeah. You know, I had to change my name because of him. I owe him a lot. So yeah, I can kill him for you. Good. I was hoping I could count on you. Now here's what I need you to do. First, you need to form a gang. Hold on. I don't want to work in a gang again. Too many people leads to too many mistakes. Oh, forget that. You will need a gang to do all that I need you to do. I thought you just wanted me to kill Marshall Clark. Yes, but I still need you to form a gang and- Then I don't need a gang. I'll just ride into town and shoot him when I see him. And how many people will see your face and recognize you? You are on wanted posters across the West, you. I don't like being called names. Bobby called me a name one too many times. Oh, put that pea shooter away. You want paid? You want your record expunged? Why would you give my records a sponge bath? Not a sponge bath, you nincompoop. Expunged. It means exonerated. Huh? Cleared, you ninny. You'll be pardoned. You can do that? Of course. I can do anything. Well, except beat Matt Clark. See, now that's where you come in. But there's more to it. Lots of men have tried and failed. You think Bobby was my first attempt? Clark has thwarted my various plans for years. I hire gunmen, train robbers, gangs, women. I buy judges and politicians. And he always escapes. This time, my final moves are ready and I need him gone. And how am I going to do that? By keeping him busy. You and your gang are going to rob every train you can between here and Paradise City. With a slew of train robberies, he will be constantly on the run. Then you can make your move. But it must be done by summer. And why before then? I have some business I must finish by then. But that does not concern you. Now, I'm paying you a lot of money, and I expect you to do this properly. Nothing easier and more proper than a straight kill. Why all this robbing train stuff? I need you to tire him out. Stretch him to his limit. The only way to beat him is to force him to make a mistake. Huh. Yeah, I see. I understand. I doubt that. Now, here's a list of dates and trains I need you to rob before they get to Lake Albolo. Why? Because I need you to get some of this cargo off of these trains. Wait a minute. I thought you owned these trains. I do. And this is your cargo on those trains? Yes. So you want me to rob your trains, steal your cargo, and then bring it to you? Not all the cargo. Just specifically marked crates. Help me out. I'm confused here. That's not surprising, you simpleton. But why steal your cargo just to bring it to you? Because the cargo you steal cannot reach Lake Albolo or Paradise where the government inspectors check the cargo. So what is in these crates? It's anthrax for part of my plan. That's all you need to know for now. Oh, for criminy's sake, not another Bobby. Plans within plans within plans. Oh, what happened to the good old days when we just robbed and murdered? Now it's always some fancy scheme. Why do folks always want to turn checkers into chess all the time? You need not worry about it, my poor pawn. Your part is simple enough, even for you. Rob trains, then kill Matt Clark. Just make sure you rob these trains. The crates will have these marks on them. Now, are we clear? Or are there any other problems? Well, yeah, just one. Oh, what now? It's written clear enough. That's the problem. I can't read. I never learned my letters. Then get someone in your gang who can read. Now, go and get started. And send in that other simpleton of a pawn, Senator Patine. He's waiting in the next room, listening in, probably. Well, Mr. Steamhair, it took some heavy legal finagling, bribes in the right places, and some other unsavory favors. But you now own 55% of the former Far to Go Railroad. The late Mile to Go's son has maintained a 45% share. Ned to Go? No, I went before I came in. Anyhow, you now have direct control over the northern routes. No, his son, Ned to Go. But this is good. I still need that federal contract to build a line north of Collier's Bluff, through that Indian territory, straight through this forest here. Can't see the forest? It's right here on the map, the green area. No, sir, the name of the forest is Can't see the forest. Ah, anyhow, we go straight through the Indian territory here, through this forest and onto Amarillo. Why is this so important? Now that you have access of the northern route. 
because it gives us direct rail control of all goods shipped from the West Coast through to St. Louis and back with all the major mines and logging sites along the way, except Lake Albalo. We're bypassing that. No more dealing with different rail companies, and we can avoid going down into Cougar's Hole or up Nellie's Pass. What's wrong with Nellie's Pass? I hate going up Nellie's Pass. It costs extra money to do it. My biggest loads can't even fit up Nellie's Pass. Everything has to be slower and smaller and more careful when going up Nellie's Pass. Okay, now that we have beaten that joke into the ground, Mr. Steamer, may I ask why the Indian Territory? There's room enough for the rail line north of Wales Mine and south of their land. Because their land has some of the nicest real estate. Groves of trees, fishing, hunting, boating. I see a resort area, Senator Patin. Luxury hotels, a casino. Millionaires from across this country, even the world, will flock to these spas and on my luxury speed trains at that. The superchargers, all coming to Stanley Steamer's steam spas. It has a nice ring. That could cost another fortune, even if you somehow get the land. What do you think I've been doing for the last eight years? Building my trains, insuring them for double their value, and then having them robbed and even destroyed. I got 50% of the loot and all the insurance money. Now, with what we made disposing of the Kahats opium, I have the money and the time. Only two things still remain in my way. And those are... Getting the land from the Indians and disposing of Matt Clark. Sir, wouldn't killing Matt Clark bring extremely unwanted attention to this area? Senator, Clark has been a boil on my bottom for too long. He has cost me more time and money in delays because of his exploits. There's no way my plans can be safe if he gets even a sniff of what we're up to. This is the big push, Senator. Today I reveal my newest, greatest locomotive ever. Bigger than the Black Mamba. More thrust and horsepower. My Lexington Steel. It will handle all the big loads. This is the shining jewel in my fleet of these new superchargers. But these new engines won't fit up Nellie's Pass. With a straight level shot to Amarillo, we will move freight and the right people at record speeds and record profits. You have already failed twice trying to get the Indian lands. How are you going to attempt it this time? Those latest shipments from the laboratories we have on the West Coast. The medicines and supplies from the West Coast? There was never any medicine. It was only marked medicine. Then what is it? It's anthrax and a sample of the Pasteur vaccine. We're going to spread some among their buffalo herds up there. Then the natives will get it. An outbreak occurs and they will either die or be forced to flee their land. Then I shall move in and buy it as well as selling the vaccines, and look like a savior. That's a little dangerous, Mr. Steamer, even for you. I am a desperate man, in a desperate time, and I will not be stopped this time. In this endgame, I shall have the checkmate. I just need one more pawn eliminated from this board. What is that? Need to go. No, I told you, I went before I came in. No, you symphonious slimeball. This son of Miles to go. He must be eliminated. So why not just have this Four Finger Bill do it? <sighs> because his little brain is just big enough to handle the job he currently has. No use overburdening him. I need you to find somebody and kill him. Ah, for all his faults, the guy was so good at these things. Now go and send for my carriage. I have to go to a meeting that may ease our takeover bid.